You know, sometimes you live opera in Vienna, sometimes you live it in China, sometimes you live it in Orlando, Florida at a gas station. What is up? <laughs> Norman's pumping gas. Where is he? There he is. You can kind of see his head. And we have been in Florida for like three, four days now. I can't remember. I think three, four days. And I thought, what better topic than how to get over jet lag? Because last night I finally went to sleep without any sort of, you know, help, melatonin or sleeping stuff or whatever. So I was like, all right, this is what's happening today. So these are our tips for getting over jet lag while we go on a road trip. We are actually en route to Tallahassee, Florida to talk to students there in their vocal program at Florida State University. So shout out to Florida State. Um, yeah, so let's dive into that. It's like, I appreciate your video. I'm actually going to get snacks. <laughs> so, okay, I will do the first tip all by myself. You know how I do. Uh, my first tip when you arrive somewhere where you are gonna experience jet lag is to force yourself to stay up. Now this is super hard when you're going from the States to Europe because usually the flights arrive at like eight in the morning, six in the morning, and it's like, why did you do this to me? But uh, if you can stay up that first day and then go to sleep, you will set yourself up for getting over the jet lag much more quickly. Um, it was easy when we arrived here because we basically arrived a few hours before bedtime and that's usually how it is coming this way. So the jet lag is, is knocked out much quicker. But if you can do that, you will cut down your jet lag time in half. And I heard that it takes like one day per hour of travel to get over jet lag. I have found that not to be true when I use my tips and methods. So yeah, tip one is stay up. Just try your best to stay up. Now, okay, full disclosure, we have definitely like done like a little hour cat nap because you just feel like you're gonna die after all of that traveling and everything. But um, we've gotten pretty good at finding ways to stay up and, and, and to discipline ourselves in that way. And it really cuts down on your jet lag, especially if you gotta go to rehearsal the next day, right? Like you can't be all busted. So that is my number one tip. It's not my number one tip, it's my first tip, right? You got it. It's too slow. So I'm knocking out number two by myself again. All right, so number two is take vitamin C. And I have two different kinds that I like to take. I wish I had examples with me. I did have them when I was planning to shoot this video at first, and then Norman started feeling like he was coming down with something and he took them. <laughs> but um, the highest concentration you can get, it can be like any, any form. Um, I got a really amazing one in London that evidently was like the best vitamin C you can get and it's like this gel thing and I don't know if it was really what they said it was, I don't know. Um, and in the States we take emergency and that's got like electrolytes and stuff. It's got a whole bunch of other stuff. Actually, let me see, I think I have some of that. Hang on a second. What you get? I got two bags, smart food. All right, popcorn. yes. I brought and... some turkey. Oh, that's for me. Okay, I love beef and turkey. Then I bought Don't hate. <laughs> Two really big bottles of water. All right. Uh, and awesome. I bought, I bought me this. What? Because you don't, I don't think you like If you, we can have some if you want, but I bought that. Oh, yeah, that's not so much my thing. Arnold yeah. Palmer? No, no, no. Yeah. That's okay. Um, okay, so yeah, tip number two was the vitamin C. This is emergency. This is what we like to buy in the States when we're traveling. And it has antioxidants, uh, B vitamins, and electrolytes. And that's actually tip number three is drink something with electrolytes because you will be dehydrated after traveling no matter how well you, how much you drink, how well you hydrate yourself during the plane ride. You do need something with electrolytes. So we will buy stuff like Pedialyte and mix it with grape juice. We will, or just knock both out, you know, using emergency. That's really good. You need to boost your immune system after a long period of traveling. Oh, he's gone. I'm coming back though. All right. <laughs> Guys, this is, we haven't even gotten like 10 minutes out of Orlando yet. It's good times. Uh, yeah, so what was it, tip three? What did I just say? What? I'm so confused right now. All right, you got it. Just just, just hit the little 10 second back thing. You know what it was. This, this right here, smart water, vapor distilled water and electrolytes for taste. We're not using the electrolytes for taste. We are using them to get over jet lag and to feel full hydration. You can also use regular water. Yes, as you can. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just let's just talk to us during this video. You all are just gonna go with it. This is like hashtag real life, son. 
Uh, Norman's laughing at me, babe. Listen. So, okay, tip number four is after you've Siri, seriously, nobody wants to hear from you. Um, tip number four is after you have stayed up, after you've had all the vitamin C, after you've had all the electrolytes slash Arnold Palmer's, I don't recommend that. Um, delicious. <laughs> you probably will need some sort of a sleep aid uh, to actually get a good night's rest the first couple of nights. I have tried all manner of sleep aids uh, in the last 10 years of traveling and my body literally fights all of them and it's super annoying and I think all you know what that like night wrestling feels like when your body is super tired but can't sleep and you're like just go to sleep. Um, this year I finally found something that my body responds to and it's basically like a heavy dose antihistamine and that works for me. So you know you guys can just some people are fine with melatonin, some people have very very sort of uh, sensitive nervous systems and can just be knocked out. Not me. Don't know what it is. Uh, so no. Norman's the same. So, but this has worked for us um, all over all our travels. It's really effective. It has a different name all over the world, but basically high dose antihistamines is what works for us. Melatonin just, it seems to like make my body mad and be like, what, what are you trying to do? You're trying to drug me? I see you. I'm not going to respond to that. So uh, yeah, it does not work <laughs> for us. This is like not just for jet lag. This is if you have trouble sleeping in general. Um, you might want to visit your exercise regime and be like, is this actually hard enough? Is this actually making me sufficiently tired? Or in my case, am I actually exercising? Are you actually ex exercising at all? <laughs> um, I don't recommend doing your full out routine if you've just landed and, and you know, unless you're, I mean, if you're in amazing shape, okay, but like we're in moderate shape. So for me, if I were to do that, it could exacerbate any tiredness or sort of, um, any you know stuff that's happened on the plane like feeling dehydrated so I usually give it a couple of days and then I jump back into what I do but um, a little light cardio is good and I found that it actually helps me get over the jet lag more quickly it also just sort of wakes up any tired muscles and that's something that I think is is really important to incorporate anyway in your routine just for general health but especially when you're traveling you need to find a way to boost the immune system and um, you know, it just, it's just good. You know, after you've been sitting, I mean, my gosh, sometimes you're sitting for up to 20 hours, depending where you're coming from. It's not fun. It's not fun for anybody watching this who doesn't, you know, know about opera. Like we are not flying feet, business right class. All right. <laughs> we are sitting up in economy most of the time. Okay. I know some people do get flown the business right class or whatever, but like, Road. let's say 99.9% .9 of us are sitting up in some sort of a train, some sort of a plane, some sort of a situation. And it is unpleasant. And as you get older, you're like, wow, I feel that. In a quarter <laughs> the right lane or? to turn right onto West Colonial yes. Drive. Such a great husband. Thank you. He is such a great husband though. He's awesome. <laughs> All right, so now this can be challenging if you have just arrived in the United States of America and you're like, I'm on a burger. But I really recommend the first couple of days you land in the Use new the location right lane, right to eat Colonial light Drive. foods, this salads, right smoothies, you know, just stuff that's easy to digest because your body is like, literally, what have you done to me? I don't know where I am. I don't know what time it is. Your digestive system will probably be all whacked out, like all weird. So, you know, just stuff that's easy to digest. Lots of fruits and vegetables, of course, for the vitamins and for the fiber. Um, did I get us lost? No. Are we good? All right. Oh, you're great. Yay, Yay traveling. This is so fun. Um, We're in a red zone. Uh-oh. Look at it. What? There are no cars. Why is that a red zone? I don't know. It's like there's some busted palm trees and it makes you like red in the no face idea. and mad. I'm not good at spontaneity. So, okay, yeah, you want to make sure you're just taking care of your diet and like I know there's all the yummy food. I mean, okay, we definitely had Mexican already a couple times. Um, but I also find for myself just how my body works, if I eat a lot of meat, right, when I've been traveling and stuff, that's just not a good combination for me. So, watch what you eat. Out again. Just can't wait to be on the road again. Road again. Gonna sit with Norman cause he's my friend. I can't wait to be on the road again. That's how that song goes. That's really good. Willie would be proud. Is that who that is? I'm Willie Nelson I'm, I'm Canadian. I don't know about that. Alright, uh, final tip is I know that this is gonna be challenging, especially if you're jumping into like a long rehearsal period. 
um, and you won't necessarily have this luxury, but if you do, try to take the first 24 to 48 hours easy. You know, don't, don't push yourself, don't do a whole bunch of stuff because if you get exhausted in the beginning of your trip, it's gonna set yourself up to, to yourself up. Sad bit, sad bit. It's gonna set yourself up to feel just lousy for longer than you need to. So try if you can, and we were lucky on this trip, we were able, we had a breakfast meeting kind of the day after we arrived, but we didn't have to do any heavy full on singing until yesterday and the day before. So we, we had that and we planned it that way because we were able to. Um, so that's my final tip is just try to take it easy and I have found that even changing, you know, like we went from Vienna to Orlando, which is a six hour time difference. I feel fine now. Yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is our fourth day here. Mm -hmm. Right. So these tips work. They've worked for us. Uh, I hope they'll work for you guys. I know a lot of you are traveling to Europe to do auditions in the new year, which is super exciting. Uh, I know some of you who are new to this channel are also just maybe going on a family vacation uh, or you're dreaming about going to Europe, it's on your bucket list. So I hope that these tips really help you. If you guys have any tips for us, we'd love to know what they are because we're always looking for ways to make traveling easier slash more fun because we do so much of it and sometimes it has not been easy slash fun. It has been hard slash unfun. That's true. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all of our subscribers. You are amazing and we love you and you are all over the world, which is also super cool. And if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, um, this is the time where the person talking to you is like, why don't you subscribe? But honestly, you don't have to, but it's fun when you do. There you go. There you go. That so this is Living really Opera. I know. This is the most Canadian explanation you'll ever get. Why to subscribe. But anyway, um, we're on our road trip. We uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. We love you guys. And this is Living Opera. Here we are in our rental car, living the opera dream. What? I'm going to poke you in the eye. I'll do it.